Hello and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Hopefully with working audio this time. <laughs> We're once again in our Northern Wilds Zoo. And uh, last time we sort of started working on this um, very, very ugly habitat. <laughs> I know that it's ugly, you don't have to tell me. But we're gonna we're gonna fix that today. But for now the habitat does work so the animals can actually live here. Uh, I'm also gonna take a look at the wolves. Yes, you guys. Yes, yes, I know, you're all very happy. Because they are soon going to be aging up. And like the adults are going to be too old to continue mating, breeding, so we'll have to work on that. But for now, um, I want to do something for these guys, right? Yes, um, and I'm going to do a pretty big forest. So I'm actually going to make this habitat bigger. I know, I already built it, but I'm undoing it. <laughs> I'm undoing it. This this is gonna be bigger. Um, I want a very like big stretch of forest here. Just feel like that would work better. All right, so is this straight? Maybe. Probably. Not quite certain. <laughs> and yeah, um, I tried to fix my microphone, so I hope the audio is fine now. As I said, I just got a new PC, so uh, I had to change all the settings, and um, you know how that goes, right? Like, PC just doesn't like it. There we go, that's a lot better, and I'm gonna redo the water as well. Also, um, I recently picked up Minecraft again. Would anyone like to see me do some weird Minecraft builds? That's not what I wanted to do. Would anyone be interested in that? I don't know, just asking, because... No, I just want to pick this one. Just this one, please. Uh, There we go, okay. Would anyone be interested in that? And watching me do Witcher in Minecraft? Because I'm playing on a few servers right now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I thought if people would be interested, I could also do that on this channel. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm, I'm sort of offering it here. If not, you know, I'm just going to do more Planet Zoo content. That's fine too. Okay. Yeah. This is going to work a lot better. I still want to give them more space, honestly. But that's probably not going to work out too well. The visitors and all that. So we're not going to do that for now. Uh, next, I'm going to put that apart. There we go. It's not completely straight, but um, it'll have to do. And then... I'm going to start by turning this into an actual house. Where's my light? There we go. I'm actually going to leave the game running for a bit to give us daylight because building at night time is uh, quite a pain. I don't like that. I also want more short grass. Can I have more short grass, please? Thanks. I'm, I'm still not very comfortable with, uh, you know, ter terrain paint. I don't know why. Not like I haven't been painting the terrain for the last 50 years, but yeah, still not my biggest friend. Well, essentially the plan is to just turn this into like a northern forest, right? We won't have snow all the time here, but the biome will have snow. So I'm gonna, uh, yeah, just, just let it do its thing. Not actually going to install anything that is going to cause snow. But I'm going to go for like mostly a um, forest of sort of like needle trees. I don't know what they're called in fancy language. That's what we call them here, needle trees. <laughs> you know, pine trees, cedars, that whole thing. Um, do we want a Christmas tree? I think it's too late for that. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you can tell, but there's um, these like rainbow light effects. Yeah, here on the camera because I'm using a flashlight. <laughs> it's still there without the flashlight, but yeah. But yeah, I'm mostly going to go for like a very, oh, damn. I don't want to say a very monotone thing because it's not going to be monotone, but it's just going to be like these trees, right? I'm also not sure if I want to go for forest or more for like an open thing, but I guess I already went with the forest, so we're doing a forest. Oh, do I want more cedars? Maybe one up here? 
I always have to be a little careful with the um, really, really big trees. Because they do take up a lot of space, you know, and you don't want to take up too much space with a tree. Then it looks weird. And I don't want it to look weird. No, 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 no. Not the same tree next to each other. That's a crime. Also, as you can't tell, I have a new mouse. <laughs> um, I, I'm not failing at properly clicking stuff anymore, which makes me very happy. Why is there a sick animal in this zoo? Sick animals are not allowed in this zoo. Um, how about a yellow cedar over here? How is this a yellow cedar? This tree is not yellow at all. Why do you call this a yellow cedar? I'm confused. <laughs> yes, this is my issue with the game. That the yellow cedars are not truly yellow. Um, mm, you know what? I think this is okay for now. As always, I'm obviously gonna... Add a lot of- this is the third time you've had Campylobacteriosis. bacteriosis, come on! Develop some immune system! Okay, Fallon is uh, pregnant, great. Expecting offspring. I approve of that. Also, as always, if there is an animal you would like to see in this zoo, for example, right next to my wolves, feel free to put it in the comment section down below, I'm always looking for inspiration. Uh, the one thing I am going to do is a bear area where we have two species or like three species of bears and I'm going to do snow leopards as well. Um, uh, yeah, come on, Metro faster, thank you. Waldo and Vlora. Definitely going to keep Vlora. Like, let's just take a look at that. See, Vlora is... Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, animal storage. <laughs> uh, let's just scroll down a bit. Here. We've got Waldo and Gazan. Waldo is not good, so I'm going to release him to the wild. Uh, I know that releasing albinos or leucistic animals to the wild is sort of not what you should be doing, but I don't care. And then I have Laura. My main issue is that these have low fertility because they're albinos. Um, once again, I'm not sure if that is because they're albinos, or um, if the person who bred the albinos just you got them through inbreeding, which then caused low fertility. That is something that's very common. If you're looking for albinos and you actually want to use them for breeding, you have to be careful with that. Uh, because many, many times people will be using albino animals, like will get be getting albino animals through methods of breeding that cause uh, genetic defects and such in the game. It has been implemented. It's pretty cool in my opinion. Like it's pretty realistic, right? It is a thing uh, in real life as well. And uh, that's sort of what they're going for here. Once again, I appreciate it, but uh, it's sort of annoying when you're actually, you know, trying to um, I'm just... Trying to actually have a bunch of albinos that have decent fertility stats. The other stat that's usually low with albinos in this game is the uh, immune system, so to speak, um, which is called Tell Me. <laughs> uh, immunity, yeah, okay. I mean, that's that's pretty close. Shonita, did you have a shiny? No, yes, it's not a shiny. Hey, hey, stop moving. Waldo. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yes, hello Waldo. Welcome to the world <laughs> um, of, of Zeus. You're gonna love it here. Not. Uh, as always, we're just gonna put the glass here so that people can actually see the animals, right? I wanna do a Christmas market. I know that it's not Christmas, but can I do a Christmas market here? For those of you who are not from a region that does Christmas markets, they're great. <laughs> They're also usually, like, if you don't know where you're going, they're going to be chronically overpriced. But if you know what you're doing and where you're going, they're really, really cool, in my opinion. I know people who don't like them. That's okay. But I really like them. Like, you know, twice a year. <laughs> once on the 24th and once on the, the 22nd, I suppose. Um, well, this isn't going to work. What did you attach yourself to? The flooring? The roofing? I don't know. Let's 
see how it um, it has some issues with actually properly fitting. So we're going to have to sort of play around with that a little bit. Uh, yeah, so this is because I had both of these walls here. On the outer preset, not the inner preset. So if we actually change that real quick. Oops. And move this one inside as well. We should not be having a problem anymore. Let me just... There we go. So yeah, today we're mostly going to be designing this habitat. Oh, prong and antelope is about to have offspring. Yes! Happiness noises. Uh, I'm going to put this down here and then we're actually going to lift it up. So don't worry, it's not going to stick into the ground as badly as it does now. Now, <laughs> strategically speaking, <laughs> in a place that has a lot of snow, your top roof would be um, definitely not flat, right? Like having any flat bits on a roof up top if you're in a, an area with a lot of snow is just deadly. It's just going to collapse. So I'm probably going to do something like this. Doesn't look that cool. But also, I want my um, animals to stay alive and healthy, so that's what we're gonna do. Because there is no um like like this, but with four corners that does not exist, so I'm gonna have to use a regular double pitch. Can I do this, and then do this, and then just lift it? Yeah, okay. There we go. Let's just make sure that it fits right in. I might want to turn it by 90 degrees. And then arrange it so that it actually fits. Oopsie. Also, uh, in case you were wondering where the episodes are and why I'm not recording a lot at the moment, I'm a week away from my finals. And my finals are terrifyingly terrible. Um, and I'm really just trying to survive at the moment. So, so that's why there is no content right now. Or like less content. I am still trying to record, of course, and um, I mean you you can tell by the fact this that there's a video right now, yeah. But <laughs> I'm I'm struggling with it a little, so yeah. I literally placed a piece of fence. Can you please place it? Thank you. So yeah, I'm just gonna use fencing here to sort of give us a window vibe. Because I don't want to use actual glass here. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. So instead, I'm just going to put fences in here. Once again, this is how I do a lot of my builds. So it's like very much a generic build for me almost. But I like it. I think it looks cute. It gives everything a little more character without you having to do anything like, you know, like any huge... um manually build things that take 10 years. Nope, you just placed on a tiny bit of fence. And it still looks like you care more than Dominic Myers. Are the Dominic Myers jokes ever going to stop? No. They will never stop because uh, Dominic Myers is a creature that you have to dislike. And if you don't dislike Dominic Myers, you haven't been playing this game for long enough. That's, that's all I have to say about Dominic Myers. <laughs> Because even the hardest scenarios are not as bad as Dominic Myers, and I said that as someone who played all the timed scenarios. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the timed scenarios are still pain, but but it's not Dominic Myers level pain. Okay, so uh suppose I'm gonna do like these up here, right? just going to be a lot of me doing weird stuff. Now this isn't going to be symmetrical and I'm going to hate myself for it. And there's these cute little windows, right, that you can just place everywhere, but they're literally so tiny. I mean, look at them. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I understand why they're tiny. I just think that it's a little annoying to build with if you have tiny windows. Like, where is my position snap? Thank you. <laughs> The one time you actually want position snap is when you're placing windows or something like that. 
because it centers them. And I like it when my windows are centered. I'm not straight enough to find the middle of anything. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, hello, aren't you a cutie? Let me just look at them. Ah, yes. I like them. Okay, Zadie, what's going on? Mm -hmm. You're hungry. You're not supposed to think about how hungry you are when mating. That's a bad one. Offspring in January. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, she's pregnant now. You're gonna live with it, dude. <laughs> Already happened. It's too late to change it now. <laughs> I just looked at her like, wait, did I do that? <laughs> yes, yes, you did. I want to undo the position snap because now I need these guys to light up the house. Uh, very, very healthy. Always put burning torches onto your wooden buildings. There is uh, no risk in that whatsoever. If you think there's a risk, you're just not, um, you know, just haven't had enough life experience. Because obviously there's nothing risky about torches um, at all. No, why would there be, right? I always place torches next to my house. That's how I do with lights. It's not symmetrical. I hate it. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the front ones and uh, I'm gonna put these up. At least on the front. I don't think we need them everywhere, do we? Let's use these guys for plants. There we go. And over here as well. See, now the whole place already looks a lot cuter. It's still not where I want it to be, but it looks better. So, yeah. This is essentially how I build something in a nutshell. It's... I'm not the most creative when it comes to like huge, gigantic builds. We are going to be using ivy to decorate the whole place. Uh, because we need more green. The green it's the green i can't sing that because otherwise i'm gonna get copyright striked by youtube uh, by disney <laughs> but you can imagine me singing the song from was it kiss the frog i don't know what it's called in english you know the one with dr facilier um i always forget the english movie names it's very very sad because they're all a lot better in english I'm one of those people who doesn't like watching movies in their native language. Not, not, who don't, people who don't, English, don't leave me, I still need you. <laughs> um, like, they just sound weird to me. Once again, it's probably just me imagining that my language sounds weird, but um, yeah. Is that too much ivy? Nah, it's fine. This house belongs to poison ivy, there's bound to be a lot of it. That's not actually, but, you know, we can pretend that it does, right? But yeah, you know, the one with Dr. Facilier. Uh, do you guys still watch Disney movies? Is that, is that a thing people, like, I know that kids watch them? Sometimes I feel like adults don't really do, but then everyone is like, Oh no, yeah, like Disney movies are for adults anyways. So, I don't know, I'm always a little confused there. Uh, not that that's going to stop me from watching him, I mean. There are some I don't watch because I don't like them, but that's something entirely different. <laughs> no, go, go on there, come on. Come on. I know you can do it. There we go. Okay, that, that, see? See, that looks okay. It looks like it's from um, Skyrim. This looks very... This gives me Skyrim vibes. Like, genuinely. This building gives me Skyrim vibes. Especially the mountains in the background. I like it. Maybe I'm just imagining the Skyrim vibes, but I like it. Um, for those of you who haven't played Skyrim, I recommend it. It may be a buck fest, but it's a great buck fest. Also, any Bethesda game is a buck fest. Also, Oblivion. Oblivion is great, too. Just, just play the Elder Scrolls. Just, just play the Elder Scrolls. Great games. 
if you don't want the bugs. <laughs> just just ignore the fact that there's bugs. It's funny how the reindeer sounds so much like bears or something. Or like uh, dogs, I don't know, like wolves. Very, very big dogs, not small dogs. Um, small dogs are. Look, I, my family owns a small dog too, but if they bark all the time, it's terrible. Because their voice is so loud, like so shrill and like bright, right? Like high pitched voice that is also very, very loud. It's just never a good combination. Uh. I mean, except for the baby wolves. They're allowed to do that. Okay, there we go. Um, oh yeah, this looks okay. I think it's fine. Now, for the rest of the habitat, I'm gonna do some stone work around here, and then we're gonna do the forest. I mean, you know, this place isn't gonna have any very impressive, crazy builds. I will be doing some of those once my exams are over. So, um, like during February, I will be uploading build videos where I do my usual big builds. For those of you who don't know any of them yet, um, I have a playlist. It's literally just called Planet Zoo Builds. I would recommend checking it out. It's a lot of sped up builds where I build like very, very large habitats or bigger buildings, anything like that. It takes like hours to make. I just speed it up and then I put it in that playlist. And of course, if you want to see me build anything specific, you can also request that. I'm not sure if I can do it because I'm not the best builder in the world, but I can try. But yeah, for now we need a river. A river. Um, nice little stone area here. For our reindeer. I always want to call them elk, but they're reindeer, they're not elk. Different, different things, right? Yeah. Of course it's different things. Neither of these animals exist on my area of the planet. No, I think we have elk. I think we have elk, we just don't have reindeer. Do we have reindeer? No, we probably have reindeer too. I'm probably just stupid. Um, they don't exist in my region of uh, where I live. <laughs> We have, uh, we have deer and a lot of animals whose English name I do not know. So, like, we do have similar animals, just not these guys, so. I'm always a little confused. Yes, come on, give me a baby reindeer. Give me a baby reindeer. That's not a baby reindeer. Dude! Mighty? Mighty? That was not good. Not, not. <laughs> um, I don't know, I think reindeer have a fairly decent um, fertility rate, like pregnancy rate, offspring rate, whatever. But the habitat obviously isn't ideal. I haven't done a lot of research. For those of you who don't know, that does all um, affect how likely an animal is to get pregnant. So if you're working with certain animals that are not as easy to uh, conceive offspring with. So, for example, pangolins. <laughs> My suffering with pangolins is uh, a long one. What helps is increasing the feeding cap- uh, like food, feed, feed quality, I suppose. Um, and also stuff like giving them a lot of toys, giving them a nice habitat, just the usual. If you do research, you probably know this, but if you do research, I'm just going to shut it off real quick. Uh, I'm always, you know, explaining too much in case someone doesn't know anything. If you do research, and let's see, we've did Pranahorn Antelope, you'll find these little bits here, which is breeding research, which, if you fully research it, increases the chance of successfully conceiving offspring by 30%, which is a lot if the basic chance is 12 <laughs> Which isn't that uncommon if you're working with pangolins, for example. Um, like, let's just take a look at my reindeer. Astrid, you're pregnant. That's not gonna work. Lena up there. Right, compare mates. Um, obviously. Oh. Right, um. That's not gonna work either. <laughs> I did not know I bought family members here. Uh, let's see. Uh, nope. Nope. 
Um, I would like to remind everyone Wait, are you their offspring? Do I have a second male in here and you or no? I bought all of these of the trading post from Planet Zoo. How is Lena supposed to be your offspring? Um, why well, are you just telling me that? Oh, he's in low welfare, so I'm not gonna get good numbers. Is that it? He's stressed out. Yeah. And the animals are too hot. The animals are too hot. Okay, so normally <laughs> this is where you could go <laughs> to see how likely it is that your animals will conceive offspring. And the keeper, obviously. And that will then, you know, be considered a certain number, like 12%. I'm sorry. And those 12% will go up by 30%. But yeah, as you just noticed, the deer had, the deer, the reindeer had a chance of 93% because reindeer are relatively up uh, chill. <laughs> yeah. I know. Great jokes, right? Sorry, I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop. It's fine. You have to tell me that my jokes are terrible. I understand. Um, but yeah, with reindeer it's pretty easy. Some animals will uh, be quite hard to conceive offspring with, like to get them to conceive offspring. So those are cases where you really want to make sure that you look into all of those stats. Anyways, uh, I think that's it for this episode. Yep. I hope I'll see you guys again soon whenever I'm recording the next video. Whenever I'm not stressed out because of exams. I hope you like this one. As always, if there's anything you would like to see me play, if you want to see a certain build or a different game or whatever, please tell me in the comments. I'm always looking for more input. And yeah, uh, I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!